Hey everybody, it's Mizzy Wolf and we are at Pepsi Gulf Coast Jam in Florida with Tyler Rich. How are you? I'm good. Hot, it's sweaty, hot. excited. It's very hot and sweaty. Yeah, excited yes. and buzzed, happy. You know what? How you doing? I, listen, I got my bucket of margarita here. I'm doing good. <laughs> I don't have a bucket. I was left out of this uh, you, you awesome know, experience. I will tell you, there's this little oasis back in the, you know, where all the fans are and it's air conditioned and they have amazing drinks there. So. I had to make a pit stop, but let's... Buckets. Yeah, I know. But when they said, do you want a glass or a bucket? I was like, give me the bucket. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. but um, the price price is good with that one, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Husband wasn't happy about that decision. Okay, but being in Panama City Beach, have you gotten a chance to be in the water yet today? No, unfortunately <sighs> not. I've just been surrounded by... There is water right behind catering, but it's like a, it's like a, <laughs> a moat that could potentially have alligators, and so... Oh, yeah, no. I don't that, trust really any water in Florida. That doesn't sound fun. No. It's either alligators or sharks. <laughs> no, we wanted to go. It's only a mile away. We almost yeah. went this morning, but we, uh, I don't know, day kind of slips away and then all does. of a sudden, yeah. Will you get a chance at all this weekend? No, we leave tonight to Georgia. Oh, I see. Bummer. All right. Well, I'll just enjoy the water for you then. Please do. Because I'm going to be there again tonight. But no, let's talk about your new, your new album and the release and how that's been for you, 2,000 Miles. Like, what has that been like? Um, it's been uh, crazy because we put it out in the middle of COVID, so it was at the yeah. end of 2020. Um, so I finished it at home mm -hmm. in California. Well, we go back and forth to Nashville and California. Yeah. And so we were in California for most of COVID. And so people that were doing the record and finishing stuff with us were doing drums at home or doing guitar yeah. at home. And then um, I had to finish everything from my parts alone in oh. California and then just send fly files in and hope it worked out and really? it did and then we got to put it out and stuff and yep. it was really cool because it um it you know it did really well everything mm -hmm. was going as planned and then it wasn't another year until we really got to start playing shows right and we did our headlining tour to start that and so it was awesome to yeah. play these songs not even the singles like better than you're used to mm -hmm. or stuff but like album just cuts that were in the middle and seeing everybody singing along to stuff that was put together kind of like almost like on zoom like brady bunch right. like people right. in different squares <laughs> kind of thing you know um and then see it come to life and then see people singing along which is awesome yeah. um it's actually crazy it's almost been two years since that came out because time doesn't exist in this world right right yeah. yeah um but yeah so we're almost at two years from that album and uh a lot of new stuff is coming soon, which is exciting. That is exciting. And I have to talk to you about your Husky, by the way, and your dog rescue. I didn't realize you did dog rescue. Yeah, that, absolutely. That, like, got me. I love, I, I always foster dogs, find them homes. I have nothing official by any means, but yeah. that is something that I'm very passionate about. So when I read that about you, I was like, oh my gosh. How long have you been doing that? Uh, we started it at the end of 2019. Okay. And then... Uh, obviously it got delayed and whatnot mm -hmm. because my dog rescue thing is it's all about touring and meeting fans on the road mm -hmm. and going to shelters on the road and then promoting animals that need homes in that city yes. to the fans that are going to the show that night. The whole idea was like, it's called Rich Rescues. So yes. the whole idea was if I'm in, you know, a random town like Green Bay or whatever, yeah. <laughs> my social media is heightened because people are like, um, what is Tyler and the band doing in my town this day? Are they going to right. my favorite bar? Are they going to my favorite park? And these are people going to the show or people that maybe even couldn't go to the show, but right. they still want to know because they know we're in town. And so not only do we show like, oh yeah, we are at your favorite diner. Or we are at this, but we're also at this uh, rescue and look at these yeah. cute ass puppies. Oh, um, and so, so cool. yeah, and it's worked out. It's super rewarding for us. You know, we love it. And um, for a lot of the ones that do get adopted, they mm -hmm. end up sending us um, update videos and pictures and stuff Aww. like oh you know you called her this at the shelter when i when you were promoting yeah. her but now she, her name is this and this oh, is what she looks so like sweet. two years older and um it's uh it's cool if i could i'd adopt all the dogs but like yeah. you said you don't have an official thing but you foster a lot which yeah. is huge and that's something that we promote a lot on the road is that yeah. um fostering and volunteering mm -hmm. is so huge for shelters and rescues if you are like afraid of the commitment or you don't think <laughs> you have the time um no one has ever had less time than me <laughs> like, right, I'm right. never home and I, you know, I always made it work and whatnot. Now we're lucky enough we have a bus that yeah. you, my newest rescue can ride with us and stuff, which is great. Um, but, you know, That's like, fantastic. it's just, yeah, volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. I love it. Even if it's just to go walk a dog around a right. park 
Yeah. They need people to volunteer for exercises, so we promote yep. that and all that good stuff. Yeah, I started in high school like to get college credits, you know, and to have it look good on my application. Yeah. I started working at an animal shelter, and it was just, it was amazing. And from that point on, that's where I get most of my dogs. Yeah. And uh, I, I absolutely love it. I think it's so much fun. So when I read that, I was like, oh, we have to talk about it. And then you brought up it. Green Bay. And I thought, okay, wait, I got to talk to you about this because I was at the, the uh, what is it, the playoff game yeah. with the Green Bay Packers. The cold one. Yes, the very cold one with the 49ers and your team kicked my team's butt. I and forgot, I was there. I, I forgot that you were, yeah, that's right. I remember all this now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, fan. so, so I got to say, I was bummed out, but I oh. knew you were happy. So I was like, all right. We didn't kick your butt. I mean, that was like one of the, like the gnarliest, like saddest games of all time from either side. <laughs> Special teams won that game yeah. because of that blocked punt return, I think it was, right? Mm -hmm. All I know is my bass player, Ben, is is from born and raised in Green Bay. Okay. And so he came over to the house with his wife. Uh, and then <laughs> my wife was out of town. It was just my friend Kayla that grew up near me. And she's a 49ers fan. And yeah. uh, so it was four of us, two, two against two. And we made a wager uh, beforehand. I said, if the Packers win, um, I have to wear a, Packer, a, a Rogers jersey when we yeah. play Milwaukee at the rave that was coming up. And if the Niners win, you have to wear a Kittle jersey when we play back in my hometown, Sacramento. And... Uh, and he lost, and what sucks is we just did that show two weeks ago, and I forgot, because it's like <gasps> five months later, I forgot, and so I'm so pissed, because now, yeah, it'll be cool when it happens, but like, after that much time passes, probably next, like, already will be the next football season, it's right? going to be an irrelevant bet. Right. I'm still going to make him do it, but. Next time, bet tattoos. He won't do that. He doesn't even have one tattoo. I would bet a tattoo. See, I, yeah. I, that's something I would do too, yeah. for sure. I bet tattoos for sure. But so, were you happy though with the with the end of that game with that result though? Like a thousand percent. I wasn't happy with the next one. I went to that one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, it was I was quite sad. It was my very first football game ever. Oh shoot. And I had I was so excited to be at a play a playoff game at Green Bay. It was so much fun. We spent the whole day tailgating and all this stuff, and then first quarter I had to leave. It was not fun. You I, guys scored a touchdown on the first drive. Yeah. That sounds pretty fun. I got to see the stayed. best part of the game, but then after yeah, that, yeah. I was like, yeah. It's got so ahead of cold. The plans and made me leave, so. <laughs> Winter is coming. Yes, so it was. Cold. It was great. So what do you have coming up next that we can we can tell fans? Because I know i got to let you go. You have a tight schedule here. Uh, we have uh, lots of new music coming. I mean, it's been a long time since we put out anything new. And so um, yeah. multiple singles, and uh, it's just going to be a nice even flow Good. of con We have a foreign song that's coming out Ooh. Um, in July. You should be able to access here, but it's a uh, it's in French. Really? Uh, well, it's a collab with a pop French female singer, uh, but I had to sing in French also. And uh, do we know who this person I'm basically is? I'm basically French now. It's it's no big deal. Do we know who this person is? Can you can you spill the beans on that or no? Um, French. Well, so she's from Quebec. Okay. And so so like Canadian French and French people know who she is. Okay. Uh, she's really big there, but um, yeah, All it's right. gonna be awesome. All right. And then uh, stuff getting release here we're supposed to be within the next month or so putting out a new song i've been teasing for a while and then a couple months later we're just going to start doing a uh, a nice little every two to three months just kind of just it. dropping songs from now it. until forever that is fantastic and tell everybody where to find you online yeah uh everything's tyler rich super easy t-y-l-e-r-r-i-c-h <laughs> say hi Absolutely. And don't forget to adopt those dogs, foster them if you can, help out anyway, because they will thank you for it. And so will their new owners. Until yeah. next time, guys, we'll see you soon.